Hi, I'm Shannon Woodland. I'm a features producer with The 700 Club. On Thursday, September 11th, best-selling author Jan Karen, you know, she wrote the Midford series. Well, she's going to be here. And I thought I'd dust off a story I did of Jan back 11 years ago. I hope you enjoy it. I can't remember who said it, but someone likened it to the, the beginning of a book as a trot through the woods. And then it becomes the most arduous struggle to get through the woods, mm -hmm. seeking the light. But it's a, it's a process I don't even pretend to understand. Best-selling author Jan Karen. Her books are wildly successful, especially these, the Midford series. 15 million copies have been sold, translated into eight different languages. These are God's books. Because God is all over these books, He leads, guides, directs, and composes these richly varied and wonderful and amusing and colorful characters whom I love. This mountain town became home to author Jan Karen, and it was here when Jan first started writing about Midford. The Midford book series, published by Viking Hardcover and Penguin Paperback, has acquired an almost cult-like following. The books follow the life of an aging Episcopal priest who, despite his struggles, is full of grace. But Jan's books aren't just for Christians. I try to put my heart out there to everybody. They don't have to be Christian. Uh, for example, I have lots of Jewish readers. I love my Jewish readers. And let it never be thought that Mitford is for a female audience. We have a wonderful male audience and young people, children. My reading age starts at about 10 and goes well into the 90s. So this is a gift God has given me. Again, I'm not smart enough to write for everybody, but God, it's the love. It's the love in the these books that come from him that flow out to my reading audience and I, I'm so grateful for that. It's a privilege. Jan grew up in the little Appalachian town of Lenore, North Carolina. She was raised by her grandparents and learned about faith at a very young age. My grandmother who influenced me so deeply and who appears in my little book Miss Fanny's Hat was a great storyteller. She loved to read the Bible. My grandmother was not a particularly well-educated woman, but she had an educated sensibility, and she loved the language of the King James Version, so we got a lot of that. Since the age of 10, Jan had a longing in her heart to be a writer, but her life went another direction, and she became extremely successful in the advertising world. But success in advertising was not filling Jan's greatest need. I was very, very lost, very lost, and desperate to find something that would fill what Pascal called that God-shaped vacuum. He says there is a God-shaped vacuum in the heart of every person, and, and this is key, and it can't be filled by any created thing. It can only be filled by God, made known through Jesus Christ. In any case, yes, lost, always sensing that, that deep emptiness and couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure out how to fill it. And believe me, I tried a lot of very creative ways to fill that vacuum. And one night at the age of 42, after a very great disappointment, but something that was so good for me, I later understood. I fell to my knees at the side of my bed and I cried out with everything in me to God to save my soul. I didn't even understand the language I was using. I knew that salvation was important, but I didn't know exactly what it was. The thing that happened to me almost immediately after my conversion or salvation um, is that, or redemption, there's so many wonderful mm -hmm. words to use here is that I had a great desire, thirst, like a burning thirst to hear his word. So Jan began her search for a church, one that would teach the word of God, her very lifeblood. She also made another surprising decision. Shannon, I was so frightened of stepping out on faith, leaving advertising behind. Advertising, though a, a rather brutal business, pays very well. It pays better, for example, than publishing. It pays extremely well. How was I 
going to step out on faith, leave all of that behind, and in the first place, how did you write a book anyway? I didn't know how to write a book. It was just something that my heart yearned to do. When Jan was 48 years old, she began to pray. She said, in a very focused, almost driven way, after two years, God spoke to my heart, and he said, go, and I will go with you. Even that was frightening. It's like, oh, no, now I have to do it. And I did it. That started what today is some of the most delightful reading material occupying bookstore shelves. Jan is seen regularly on the New York Times bestsellers list. She's personally answered over 30,000 letters from devoted readers. Success is once again hers, or is it? I remember the first time I held my book, my first book in my hands. It was a very, I cannot tell you how it moved me that I was able to do this. People are very casual about books because after all, there are millions of them out there, so what's the big deal? Well, try and write one. I don't care if it's a good book, a bad book, an indifferent book, a great book. Writing a book is hard work, and it takes a miracle. For me, it took a miracle. But to hold that book in my hand, I thought, how did I do that? And of course, we know the answer. The conclusion to the Midford series arrives in 2005. Light from Heaven will be sure to tug at Midford readers' heartstrings. For now, Jan's new Midford book, Shepherds Abiding, will be available in the fall. Jan, that what you do is really a ministry. It is. I'm dumbfounded by it. I feel, and please forgive me if this sounds at all egotistical, believe me, it is anything but that. I feel that God chose me to do this, that even in my mother's womb, he knew what I was going to do because, you know, pretty soon after I popped out, I knew I wanted to be an author. And that's never changed.